Yo guys, how you doing? After some months, I'm back on my English YouTube channel. I hope uh, you're having a good time. In this new video, I'll show you some jackets I bought uh, over this, uh, this year. And uh, one is from Uniqlo and one is from a luxury brand. So of course they're different uh, price brackets, but uh, to each his own because they serve different purpose in my opinion. So let's start and see which are those two jackets that I think are the best I bought this year. One is from Bottega Veneta, I'll show you later. And the first one I'll show you right now is from uh, Uniqlo. And it's a collab by Uniqlo, which is uh, Uniqlo for Engineer Garments, the New York brand, which often focus on uh, technical aspects and pockets. Uh, and uh, their, the pieces are always uh, usually like uh, renditions of military archive stuff. This is the piece. It retailed for uh, 130 and I think you can already find it in discount right now. And it's one of the best uh, uh, jackets for its, its uh, quality price ratio, in my opinion. It's a bomber, as you can see, and it has a lot of nice details. We have this wind guard right here under the, the zippers that you can close with these three snap buttons. We have this bomber sleeve pocket with zip. Two pockets on the front, right here, and also an additional flap pocket right here. The lining inside is kilted so and filled in, so it's also very, very warm. And you have also two additional pockets, as you can see, inside. So all around, this I really recommend this jacket. I already mm, worn it uh, at least like three, four weeks since it released. And... Uh, it's really warm, I mean, at least for uh, the, the weather in Italy, in Milan. The fit, I think, is great. It's quite cropped. I recommend to you, though, to size down one size. This is a size small and I'm uh, around uh, 173, so 5'7 in terms of uh, inches. You have also this additional nice uh, detail, which is, uh, of course, uh, something borrowed from uh, military MA-1 bombers. You can snap right here. And I think it's one of the best pieces that uh, Uniqlo uh, released this year because, uh, I mean, I, I don't see any flaws in the jacket. It's really, really nice. You can, as you can see, it fits uh, perfectly with a nice crop with a boxy hoodie underneath. This one hoodie, of course, it's one of the of my brand, Garmin Workshop, that you can find and buy it online on my website. So guys, my advice is that if you're searching for a nice jacket with a really good quality, but also an accessible price, I recommend you this bomber of Uniqlo for engineering garments. But now let's see the second piece I brought to you today. Oops, all good. This uh, year round up, I think uh, this is the best uh, designer luxury jacket I got. In those past months, I also show you like a uh, selling leather jacket, but I think this, uh, in my opinion, is better because uh, the, the leather quality for Bottega Veneta, I feel like it's even better than Celine jackets. And Celine, as you may know, if you've been following uh, Eddie Sleeman for, for a while, you know Celine has really high quality on the leather jackets. But this one by Bottega Veneta, made of lamb leather, it's crazy, the quality. Also, you can see the grain up close. It's very supple but also tough at the touch. This is a Bottega Veneta ja cropped jacket, biker jacket. We see it's quite cropped. As you can see the sleeves are, are way longer than the body. We have a silver zipper with the triangle, the classic triangle uh, staple uh, symbol of Bottega Veneta. The triangle in the, in the logo inside, in the tag. Also the triangle detail also here behind the neck. The sleeves are very nice because they're like, uh, it's not even, it should be like something like a raglan cut sleeves, but in reality they're not because as you can see, say the model of the, the shoes, of the sewing, of sewing this jacket, we have the seams right here that stops here. So it, the shoulder it doesn't, it isn't cut right here. So it's a really nice, nice construction. We also have this exaggerated wind guard right here, or stitched. And uh, the inside is lined in viscose. The, the nice thing about this one is that it's not too, too slim, it's a bit boxy. So you can also, also wear it with a hoodie or a sweater, a thick sweater underneath. Now, 
I usually wear it with a black hoodie, which is it works way better underneath instead of this header gray one. But as you can see, the fit is really, really nice in my opinion. We also have these uh, snap buttons, the silver ones right here, which you can use to make the, the end of the sleeve tighter or looser. I feel this uh, is a very, very signature piece from Bottega Veneta, especially since it's come, it comes in this, uh, I bought it because it's uh, the signature green of the Italian brand. And uh, I think this is the best designer jacket I got this year, in my opinion, even better than the Celine ones I got. Whoops, the plant, sorry guys. I guess next video I'll record it in my studio instead. So this is the jacket, it retailed for around uh, 2,500 euros, so a bit on the more pricey and more expensive side. The only flaw, I think, for this jacket is that uh, uh, on the inside there's only one pocket and uh, it would have been nice if it would have like a zipper or a snap button or something, but uh, all in all it's a really, really nice jacket by Bottega Veneta. After this new video, guys, that I hope uh, you'll enjoy on my, my English YouTube channel, I guess I'll try to publish at least uh, one video every week. I'll try to bring, bring a nice mix of uh, expensive uh, design pieces and tell you if they're worth it or not. And also nice, uh, accessible for uh, everyone, staples from brands like uh, Uniqlo. Let me know if this kind of calendar for you will be interesting or not. I expect your feedback in the comments, of course. Uh, remember that if you like my hoodie, as I told you before, it's one from uh, my brand. I produced uh, and made them uh, all in Italy, these double layered ones, and they're for winter they're really thick and uh, with a bo nice boxy fit. And I guess uh, that's it right now. Let me know in the comments if you liked this video and these uh, house settings with the plants and everything. And uh, thumbs up and remember to subscribe on my channel. See you next time guys and thanks, really thanks for checking out my video.